Billy Duell with NDOT News. Today we're outside of Las Vegas at the Michael Callahan Pat Tillman Memorial Bridge. Our inspectors are out here checking out this bridge to make sure it's uh, looking good and safe. We're going to get in the bucket and go over the top about a thousand feet above the Colorado River. Give me a couple. Bridges within NDOT are required to be inspected every two years. Um, so we bring a crew down here, we have a consultant crew, rope climbers that come down here. We're checking for cracks in the columns, um, any deficiencies that uh, might have occurred since the last time we were here two years ago. I just dropped off a fellow co-worker on rope and then we got to go inside the girders. Uh, we might have up to three crews out in the field and a crew is typically a team of two. So a, a certified team leader with a team assistant, and we are out inspecting all of the structures throughout the state of Nevada. Um, this structure is obviously a little different, requires a little larger crew because the access is so difficult and ropes is truly the only way to access the entirety of the structure. Rope work to us is um, anything that is, you know, that we use ropes and then the industrial rope access techniques to access a structure for inspection. Um, it can be anything from a very simple rappel and ascent all the way to rope to rope transfers, which we do here, or relays, where we're on a four rope system at any given time in order to traverse the structure and make sure that we have essentially hands-on access to every inch of it. You know, when we're out inspecting structures, we're looking for concrete deterioration, indications of overstress, overload, whether it's structural cracking, um, signs of settlement. If it's a smaller structure that is involved with the water and the hydraulic opening, maybe we're going to look for signs of scour and settlement of those substructure units. Um, so when we're out here specifically, we're looking for concrete defects or inside the steel boxes. We're going to be looking for indications of fatigue in the ends of the welds, um, corrosion, make sure that all the fasteners are, are tight and snug in the way that they were supposed to be. And of course they haven't found anything. This bridge was completed in 2010 and our bridges are inspected every two years if not more than that and by the way we have been rated best bridges in the nation for the past two years. This structure was extremely well constructed, extremely well thought out here, but this structure is in incredible shape. NDOT does a magnificent job throughout the state in all honesty of managing their infrastructure and keeping that infrastructure safe.